Um, so another thing I wanted to say is about indefinitely to remain. Um, I know for you, for those of you who who wanted to um, watch me say about amnesty, you probably is not going. You're not going to be interested in what I, I'm going to say. But on it, anyway, um, some people think I, I don't know indefinite leave to remain. Um, they think that because they're in the UK. Can they be grant? You know, they don't have visa, but can they be granted indefinite leave to remain? One of you asked me. Um, one of you messaged me and say, uh, "Oh, um, I don't have. I've been here five years, but if I apply, can I be granted indefinite leave to remain?" So I wanted to clarify the term indefinite. Okay, indefinite means there's no um, there's no time limit. Okay, so <laughs> so indefinite means permanent. It's another word for permanent. Well, permanent, equivalent to permanent for, you know, visa, visa purposes. So indefinite leave to remain is also equivalent to permanent residence. So for those of you, for some reason, think that you are an overstayer and then and then can you be granted indefinite leave to remain before? Yes, before there was a, there's a um, there was a concession. You know, it's not really amnesty, but they call it concession um, that if you have been in the UK for over, I think, 14 years, say, before the rules changed, for 14 years, then you'll be granted indefinitely to remain. That was fine. But but they've changed the rules, haven't they? So you can't be an overstayer and then be granted um, indefinitely to re remain unless, um, well, there isn't. There isn't any other way because if you, if you, if you have been in the UK for 20 years, then, then you may be granted... Um, I said may because it's not automatic, may be granted leave to remain, okay? So don't expect that you're an overstayer to convert that into an indefinite leave to remain, okay? That's what I wanted to say about that.